or very little at the top. Or you kind of have like an epistolic guy or whatever at the top, and everything else is below. And, but I really believe God's way is the exact opposite of that. Yep. Yep. And I believe it's this little thing at the bottom. <laughs> it's this huge, wide thing at the top. That's as big as heaven, all funneling down mm-hmm. into this thing. Can you imagine that? Like the power that comes from that? Like, wow. we flip it the other way. Like, if you flip it this way, that hole at the top is really little. Mm-hmm. It's coming through one dude. Yeah. <laughs> right. At the top. <laughs> Will you flip that thing the other way? It is heaven just pouring in to this concentrated yeah. point. Oh, and it's, yeah. bam, it looks a lot like revival. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's just my opinion. <laughs> I haven't heard anyone else talk about that. One guy heard talk about that. But, uh, yeah. but I really think that there's something on that. Think about that. The biggest heaven at the top. Pour it in yeah. to your home. Yeah. Yeah. Pour it into this church, the other churches in town. It's just good stuff. Yeah. One thing I learned from watching Jesus is that even difficult people that never <coughs> change are worth love. Amen. The person that's never going to be able to do anything for you is worth loving. Mm-hmm. Throw your agendas out of the window. We may, we, you know, uh, people are worthy of your respect and honor, even if they don't act like it. Right. Well, you don't deserve my honor. And we hold, we do believe in honor where honors do, but we honor God's children. Mm. How many? I mean, I've touched people that aren't used to being touched, and I see the look on their face when you give them a hug. Mm. Uh, and honestly, I think the church should be spending less time loving on the church and more time loving on the people outside the church. Mm. Yeah. People don't like that; they don't understand that. But I really believe that because yeah. we're supposed to be okay. Amen. Hey, I'm just saying, mm. <laughs> if all your time is on you, you're missing it. Treasure that he has out there. That's, right. you know, that's what we, we do. We call it treasure hunting. Mm-hmm. You know, we ask God to give us clues to find his treasure. Because mm-hmm. we obviously need some clues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're yeah, we need a clue. We need a clue. <laughs> God, give us a clue. <laughs> As a matter of fact, our lives are better off for loving these hard, difficult people yeah. in more ways than one. <laughs> One way is that we reap, the, uh, we, we reap a harvest of love. There's a lot to sowing and reaping. I mentioned that a lot, but there's so much in it. Sow love, you get love back. Give it away, you get more. It's just the way it is. Sow it, and you, and you reap it. It's just the truth. No matter how much people have messed that up with whatever prosperity gospel that's made you mad, <laughs> the law of sowing and reaping is still true. There ain't no getting rid of it. You can't throw the baby out of the bathroom. You can't let the enemy hijack all our good stuff because people have screwed it up. You can't be scared to love again. You can't be scared to trust again. You're going to regret it your whole life. We're, we're, we're starting, people are acting like the supernatural stuff's all real. All that stuff happens in the Bible, man. Yeah. Philip's getting transported here and there. When is that supposed to stop? <laughs> you know, all the, the heavenly visions that Paul and Peter and everybody are having, when was that supposed to stop? You know, All this stuff is not new stuff. We've given all that stuff over yeah. to the enemy. All the people, astral projection. God's got stuff better than that. He'll take you to the throne room in a minute, man. He'll take you to the third heaven. People stop asking for that stuff. You know, don't give that, take the stuff back that's good. People, the enemy counterfeits the real stuff, the good stuff, right? The $100 bill is not the $1 bill. Holy Spirit. I've been to places in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that no shaman's ever going to go. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's, just, it's the real deal. It's the real thing. That's right. 